what's going on in the United States? What has happened to Donald Trump? Well, there's been there's been concern for a long time that uh, the opponents of Donald Trump, the Democrats in particular, would try to assassinate him. People say, well, 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 you can't accuse the Democrats of that. Well, they've been trying to destroy Trump for uh, since Hillary Clinton uh, launched her bogus uh, claims that Trump was under the influence of Russia. Uh, so the you know the, the Democrats who are leading the Trump derangement syndrome, and even right now there's some of the comments I've been reading on uh, X, you know, shitter as it's called, and uh, the, the other social media. Where they're saying, "Damn, the guy that shot him missed." Oh, you know how how bad a shooter can. You know, they're upset that they didn't kill Trump, but uh, the shooter did kill some other people. He, his shots missed. Uh, we still don't know what caliber. Um, you know, from what I heard, it sounded to me that it was a low caliber twenty-two, uh, long rifle twenty-two, uh, Magnum perhaps, but it could have been some it was something bigger from an AR platform. Uh, depends on the distance. Uh, the shooter was outside the venue. So uh, that because this is summertime, they're doing a pretty thorough screening of people getting into the event, which means, you know, people are wearing shorts and, you know, the beach T-shirts, you know, with the straps. They call them wife beater shirts. Uh, so, you know, people are, they're not dressed with long pants and heavy coats that you can hide a gun. So it was unlikely that it was in the venue. And it turns out, you know, I was correct on that. It was outside. Um, I don't know the distance. Uh, the distance is important. If he was on a building that was, say, 200 yards from where Trump was, uh, firing a long rifle, uh, you know, the 22 long rifle, uh, that that's about the maximum distance for that round. It's think of this as like a rocket ship that take you know rocket takes off. It's got all that fuel pushing it forward, but as the fuel runs out, <clears throat> gravity takes over, and the, slows the rocket down. And so its its ability to accelerate stops and it starts decelerating. Same thing happens with the ball when you fire a cartridge. It expels the bullet from the shell casing, and that bullet travels down range, and it's affected by a number of things. It doesn't travel flat and level because the earth is round, and even over a short distance, the bullet is going to travel in, a, in an arc. Uh, that's why when you have a rifle and you're trying to zero it in to make sure it shoots accurately, you have to you do it at different yards, say 25 yards or 50 yards to determine of this, the rifle, the size of the caliber you're shooting. So whoever was shooting this had to deal with the distance traveled as well as the wind that's blowing, as well as temperature. It's very hot, so uh, the heat can create some waves, which can also distort your vision. And then you've got the shooter themselves. Um, anybody that can, tries to go out and sit down and perfect hold something perfectly still you're still going to get you're going to get movement little, little movement it's called the natural arc of movement everybody has it you get it from breathing the fact the blood courses through your veins and that's not a big deal if you're firing a gun at say 3 yards or 5 yards it's not going to move that much but when you're firing at 150, 200, 250 yards, all of a sudden that bullet moves a lot. And so when I saw, you know, I heard pop, 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 there may have been more. You know, I, I thought I heard like four shots. Trump was looking, turning to his right, looking almost at a, like a 90 degree, 70 degree angle. The shots came from that direction. And the shot grazed grazed his uh, right ear. It may have hit his ear, may have hit him in the, uh, the side of the head, but you, you could tell when it hit, it was more like getting stung by a bee as opposed to getting hit with a punch. Because if you get hit full force, let's say with a 5.56 five, round, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit and you're going to react in a much more uh, visible way. Uh, of being hit. 
like you've been punched or something. In particular, a headshot, sometimes, you know, the heads explode. Uh, thank God that didn't happen here. But I don't want to minimize that these were somehow not lethal rounds because apparently one of the rounds that missed Trump, you know, the, so they're firing. If Trump is facing north and there's that crowd that's behind him to the south, this person shooting was shooting from uh, east to west. And so it was going in, you know, across the stage. And one of the bullets that missed apparently hit somebody who was sitting behind Trump, sitting off to the side watching. Uh, they, they were struck and killed. Uh, at least one other person was uh, wounded as well. Uh, fortunately, they did uh, immediately locate the shooter once he started, and he was uh, taken out, and shot and killed him. We'll find out who he is in the coming hours. Larry, I remember when there was an election here in Brazil, we had Bolsonaro running. And he, when he came to our state here in Minas Gerais, in a city called Juiz de Fora, he got stabbed in his belly. And that was the outcome for him before the election. He won the election. Oh, though this is... This is going to force the Democrats to shut the hell up. You know, they're, it's going to, because then they can be accused of threatening Trump's life and, and possible legal charges now flowing from that. Uh, so, you know, this is definitely going to, I think, uh, it's going to boost Trump's support. I, I mean, it's going to, uh, I, I think it's going to, the amount of money that's going to flow into his campaign now is just going to be off the charts. Um, it's going to rally people to him that may have previously been lukewarm. But the fact that the, the Democrats would go to such lengths uh, to try to kill him. And I'm not saying that the Democrat Party officially tried to do this. No. But certain people that are supporting Biden or somebody, some other candidate opposed to Trump, they, you know, they felt so compelled to go out that they were going to uh, try to try to kill the man. And they were trying for a headshot. I mean, the fact that the, you know, they're trying to hit here, and it hit here, and um, I, I I can't emphasize enough that like if you're shooting out to two hundred yards, just the simple, if I breathe like that, you see how my hands are moving? Just that amount of movement, boy, is going to throw that bullet way out of line, and that. Uh, um, you know, the, the Trump Trump got lucky. Now, I, I've been I, I was glad to see how quick the Secret Service responded. Um, I did have prior experience with the Secret Service at Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence. Uh, this was two years ago. We were invited. My wife and I were invited to attend a dinner. And so. I, 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 I'm a concealed carry. I carry a firearm in Florida. And so we had the firearms in the car. We drove on to Mar-a-Lago. And the one Secret Service agent says, do you have any firearms in the car? I said, well, yeah, we've got two. They're you know, locked in the console. He goes, oh, you, you can't have those on the property? I go, oh, okay. So I dropped everybody off, drove back to the hotel, put the firearms in a safe. Drove back to the event and drove up and he says, do you have those firearms? I go, no. Okay, go on through. He didn't check me. I could have lied. The first time, all I had to say, do you have any firearms? No, we don't. All I had to do was lie. Then we got, you know, the car was uh, parked, walked inside, didn't go through a metal detector. There was no screening whatsoever. So when I saw that, I said, good Lord, Trump is, you know, this, I, I, and I talked to the secret, a couple of the Secret Service guys later, like, what the hell are you doing? You know, why so sloppy? You know, this is, this is pretty loose-ass security in my view. And, yeah, I've got, I've got some experience with it for, you know, I, I don't claim to be a Secret Service expert, but good God, you know, the, the basics of how to secure and defend a perimeter you know, I do know about that. Larry, do you think this guy that was shooting at Donald Trump was in the crowd or he was? No, he, he was not in the crowd. The, 
everybody that was in, so that's what I'm trying to explain. Everybody who was sitting there in that crowd, it was an enclosed venue. So to get in that venue, you had to pass through a screening checkpoint. You had to go through a metal detector. They looked in your backpack. They checked to make sure that you didn't have any firearms. And the people were wearing shorts and shirts like this or shirts with just, you know, a strap like you'd see on the beach. So they didn't have clothing on that could hide a, a rifle, hide a gun. Uh, so um, it, it wasn't from inside. And they've clearly, they found the shooter now. They've got him. They killed him. He was on top of a roof outside the venue. Uh, I just, at this time, I don't know what the distance is from, uh, from where Trump was to the top of that roof. What, why did they kill him? You've got security personnel outside the perimeter. They have they have rifles. They're carrying usually five, five, six, maybe three hundred blackout, which is a different round, a little bit bigger than a, a five, five, six round. But you know, so they've got they've got loaded rifles ready to go. They heard and saw the shooter, and they turned and fired at the shooter and killed the shooter. Stopped the threat. Yeah, that's that's why they killed him. Do we have any information in, on who was the shooter? Not, not yet. There may be, it may be out there, but I, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable, Larry. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, uh, uh, I was watching uh, RT and they had some report on it. All of a sudden, it came through breaking news. And boy, they started talking about Trump's been shot. And I went, holy, you know, if the Russians are reporting it, you know, it's, it's gone around the world. You know, this is this is huge. This is going to really add a new dimension to the course of this uh, political campaign. And but did you say did you see the video of Trump? Yeah, I saw it. He was just and bleeding. You saw, this. you saw you saw he had yeah. two streams of blood coming off his yeah. right ear. Exactly. But he stood up and was defiant. Yeah. Raising his fist, saying, "Fight, fight." Yeah. And so, um, you know, I think what you can expect to see, like, uh, if, there, if there are one or two people that were killed, Trump's going to be attending their funerals. And so that, you know, that's going to become, uh, you know, he's going to show how these innocent victims were killed by this madman. And by then they're going to have an identification that he's a Democrat Party activist, probably. Do we know how uh, many people uh, got uh, killed? And, and, and let me go, uh, t apparently two so far yeah. uh, in addition to the shooter do you think that he's gonna continue his campaign or he's gonna just oh absolutely absolutely i know absolutely he's you know if he retreated to, if some people would understand but he's not going to do that you know he's going to come out and stand up and say hey and they're gonna uh, you know they'll just They'll do extra planning, I'm sure, for the events to make sure that there are that all areas that would provide lines of fire at the stage are patrolled and controlled, patrolled and controlled. I think the outcome of this attack on Trump is that if the Democratic Party had a little chance of winning the 2024, is just gone. It's, it's not there anymore. Yeah, this is uh, now uh, the, you know, Barack Obama and others, they, they realize how bad this is. And they're coming out saying, oh, man, there's nothing justifies political violence. And we're so glad that Donald Trump survived. They're lying their asses off. They would have been quite happy if he died. They just wouldn't admit it. You know, but they're saying, oh, the whole, yeah, no, this is terrible. And, and then privately under their breath, they're probably saying, yeah, it's terrible that the shooter missed. Because there are Democrats saying that it's on Twitter. I mean, it's um, you know I'm not uh, putting words into their mouths. That is definitely coming out. So this is this is going to inflame the domestic politics here. You can bet you know bet your life on that. To be honest, I think that there are a lot of Republicans that <laughs> they would be happy because yeah, Liz no, Cheney, no, no. if you see just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there, there, there are the, the anti-Trumpers are not confined uh, to the Democrat Party, and, and that's part. Of, you know, Trump 
uh, you know, Trump has his faults, clearly. But the one thing he represents is a threat to the status, this corrupt, criminal status quo. Uh, just, I just got to note, the shooter was identified as a Chinese national. Wow. That, that's an interesting twist. So we'll see. Um, we'll see if he was also an illegal migrant. So this could go off in a whole variety of directions.